In this patch, I'm going to use the Q148 connected to an envelope generator so that whenever you press a key, it's going to pan from left to right. So we're going to start out with our audio. Our audio goes in here, and the signal goes down. It goes from the VCA to the panner, then to the outputs, also to the headphone amplifier. Okay, these are our outputs, left and right. This goes to our sound system. You could also use the headphones. This is a stereo headphone jack. Uh, since we're going to use an envelope generator, the envelopes are unipolar signals. They're 0 to 5 volts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to control both the VCA portion and the panning portion with a Q179 uh, envelope. Now I'm going to use a multiple for that because it's going to go in two different places. The first place is up here with the VCA. And remember when you plug in a control voltage for the VCA, the knob becomes an attenuator for the control voltage. So we want that all the way up. Next we want to use the envelope also to control the pan. And the same way as the VCA, whenever you plug a control voltage in, you need to make sure that your knob is set to where uh, it controls the attenuation of the control voltage coming in. So we're going to turn that all the way up also. And we're going to make sure we're in the unipolar mode. So now what's going to happen is when I press a key, it's going to fire the envelope generator. And that envelope generator is going to create a voltage that turns our VCA on and off, but it also pans from left to right. And here we go. Let's slow that down so you can hear it. Now you can increase the panning effect by, by this knob here, the pan knob, which controls the effect of the control voltage going in. So all the way counterclockwise is zero and it won't have any effect. And all the way to the right, it'll have the complete effect. Enjoy.